Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Goodness, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a while since I did a hijab style. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my go-to hijab and hujab styles that I've been doing recently that I turn to time and time again. These are some hujabs. So that's what I'm going to show you. A very sort of standard, regular style for me that I do with my hujab. Of course, you can do many other styles. You can see a few variations here, small adjustments that I make. And that's why sometimes it looks a little bit different to any tutorials that I've done. I'm also going to show you some hijab styles that I've been doing, especially as the weather's got warmer. And then I'm going to introduce you to the new petite hijabs, which I absolutely love. I've been wearing mine so much, especially in this weather and especially when I want to wear earrings. So before I get into all of that, I'm going to show you an introductory video where I have compared what the three products are about. Let's roll. Hi, I'm Amina and I am the proud owner of Pal Daisy, where we sell hijabs, hujabs, accessories and clothing. The hijab, which we all know about, the hujab, which is a bit of a mystery to some, and the new petite hijab. Our hijabs are a rectangular piece of fabric which can be wrapped around your head as a normal head covering. Now for the fun part, the hijab. I invented the hijab about 10 years ago when I wanted to combine the idea of a hood with the hijab, hence the hijab. At the top you have the hood which you place on your head and then with the two pieces of fabric on either side you can create beautiful hijab styles with as much or as little coverage as you want. Now moving on to our latest launch, the petite hijab. It's similar to our hijab in that there's a hood and two pieces of fabric, however the design has been slightly altered to give you a little less coverage. You get full coverage at the back. I look forward to welcoming all of you on the Pearl Daisy website. Okay now getting into the tutorials, I'm going to start off with a hijab. This is the black glam day glam hijab. As you probably noticed in the beginning, I wore the hood inside out and the reason is because the glam hijabs have a little bit of a shine on one side and they're more matte on the other side. So what I wanted to do is keep the more shiny side dominating the hijab style so that's where all the draping is happening and then the matte part is the part that's sitting on the head. This is usually how I tie my hijab. This is like a general template which I've shown you guys so many times but I still get lots of requests so that hopefully this will catch those of you who are newer to my channel. This is, oh how nice is this colour? Absolutely stunning. This is again a day glam, this, these are all day glam hijabs and hijabs that I'm showing you. As you probably noticed this style is slightly different, it's a little bit more voluminous so if you want that to happen then all you have to do is adjust how you tuck in those end parts into the draping bit at the front. I'm showing you the hood as well just to show you in more detail what the hijab looks like. So again, oh there we go, and here's one I prepared earlier. So this is exactly how I tied it before, but what I changed here is if you notice that bit at the front, I just moved the scarf a little bit more towards my face at the front instead of pushing it back. And so you get these longer parts, there we go, at the front there, and you get that long draping effect. You can pull your hijab up a lot higher and keep it not as drapey at the front, but I tend to tend to this style when I do want that long sort of princess drape along the front and I want that sort of elegant look. Okay, I'm also going to show you how stunning is this navy. Navy is a very popular seller for us, so why not show you? So as you can see, I'm flattening it a little bit more and this will give a slightly different look because one side of the wing I am going to leave down like that instead of tucking it behind my head and the other side as well I'm going to leave that out instead of tucking it under the draping part. And then you see you get full coverage at the back and then you just get these extra sort of pieces of fabric at the front there. It just looks a little bit more casual, a little less structured towards the front and all you have to do is not tuck it in. This also means that there's less wrapping around the back of your head because the general way that I wear these hijabs is that I will wear the hood, I'll flip the back to the front and then what I do with one side is I achieve the style, the style of you know the draping across the front and that crisscross um, on the head there and then with the other side I get my coverage. So here I sort of folded it halfway along and left the other part of it unfolded and you see you get sort of a crisscross pattern um, slightly to the side of the head there. I mean you can see it in front of you. And then I didn't tuck it in on the other side to balance out that asymmetry and I think that this looks really pretty. So you can see I'm making very very slight adjustments. Oh I was in love with this colour, that's what I was commenting on. Like how nice does this colour look? This is dark blonde. And I was like guys I'm being blonde for a day. <laughs> and I was like I love this colour, it's so flattering on a tan. 
so yeah anyway as i was saying the general pattern is that i use one side to give that draping effect and then the other side i sort of let that hang at the back and around the shoulders and that gives me more coverage um, or just general coverage all the way around and then this bit here you can either twist and tuck in or you can leave it out and then there's so much more that you can do at the front you know you can actually tuck in that first part a little bit more and get a little less coverage this one is draping really low and then I kept it quite simple at the top of the head so you see less of that crisscrossing happening. How stunning is this colour you guys? Let me know if you're as obsessed with this colour as I am. It's just like a true neutral gold, not too yellow, not too bronzy, absolutely beautiful. And then of course I could not do an emerald green you guys. Like you would know it's a clone Armina if there was not an emerald green for a while absolutely love this color so you see this time I tucked that first part over my shoulder instead of around my head so if you don't want as much fabric around your head especially in this weather you can just leave it down the sides there and then the other one I left out as well and it just gives a slightly different look to that sort of regular hijab style I absolutely love it and you've got more coverage along the chest and along the front there with this style as well so if you want to mix things up it's really easy to do that but I would recommend that you sort of get used to a simple style just putting you know the hood on the head and learning how to get the style with the first side with the first wing and then getting coverage with the second and then you can venture out honestly it does become like a second language for you it gets easier and easier the more you practice but again like if you're not someone who likes to practice with different styles look at this because I'm like hmm, should I tuck that in or leave it out I could have actually tucked that this bit in. Oh, I do tuck it in. There you go. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, what shall I do with this? And it gives you that sort of, you see that crossover fold at the front? How pretty is that? Especially with this color. Oh my gosh, my favorite. This one was like, I took this out, this and the gold, the dark blonde. I took them out and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm absolutely in love. Like, I need to find a reason to wear this with a special outfit, with, like on a special occasion. It would look so nice, especially with like a silver tikka or and some jewelry. Okay, now, yay, the petite hijab. Okay, so these are obviously petite, they are smaller, so you get less coverage, you get less of that draping. The way I like to wear it, I've been wearing it like this all the time, every time I've worn it, is I put a fold at the back, and then I do a really simple loose wrap around the front over the shoulder with one, and then I do the same with the other side, and it just gives you lots of airy space around your head. If you wanna wear earrings, this is the ideal style. For summer, this is ideal. You can dress it up. Honestly, you can wear this with some jewelry. You can dress it down. You can wear this with more of a casual look with a t-shirt. And check it out. This is what I was doing as part of that explainer video, but this part got edited out because I only had a minute. <laughs> I show you the full coverage at the back there. And then I say, look what you can do with these two side bits. You can leave them casual like that. I, I do think this gives more of a casual look. You can actually tie it into a knot and make it look a little bit more Parisian, or you can leave it at the back. So if you want to wear, say, a necklace, you don't want too much distraction at the front, you can push it back. There's just so much you can do with a petite hijab as well. I absolutely love it. I know it's gonna be my go-to for the summer. Okay, now on to the day glam hijabs. Super duper simple, guys, check it out. I've been loving just doing really simple hijab styles. A lot of you have been asking still how I do them and this is it. Like go with the flow, go with where the drape and the fabric takes you. I kind of pop it on my head, do a fold sort of halfway along my head and then I just casually sort of put the other side around my shoulder. I also like to do the drape over the shoulder look, which again starts off the same and then one side I leave slightly tighter along the face and tucked at the back and then the other side I open it up and I let the fabric sort of just drape across the shoulder I think that looks really elegant I really like this when I want to show more of the color of the hijab that I'm wearing especially if it say goes with my lipstick oh and then I try out a bit of a different one I don't know if I've ever done this one on camera but I know I've done it for shoots where I twist like both sides of the hijab like grab one corner or one side rather cross them over take them behind my head come on take them behind my head and then I tie a very small double knot and that holds it in place I mean you can pin it as well and then look at those lovely little sort of folded parts along the front they look you can't see the other side properly but it had like this sort of waterfall flowing effect with the folds just naturally there we are you can see them now just naturally how they kind of sit along the body I think it looks really pretty it's really simple at the top and then you get these pretty sort of swirly bits along the side and this color oh my goodness 
stunning. Partway through doing this, um, Chloe, who was there, one of the other photographers, she was like, oh my gosh, this color is so pretty. And I was like, I kind of feel like Elsa. <laughs> okay, now for the emerald green. So again, I'm gonna take like one side and tuck it behind. And then this is how it looks if you do sort of a shoulder drape, but then bring across that excess material. So you get a drape across both shoulders this way. Again, this looks so nice if you want to really showcase the color of your hijab or if you've got a really simple outfit and you want to get that draping of the hijab, you can also wear this with earrings that would look really pretty or with any forehead jewelry, maybe not with necklaces, but you know, you do you if you want to go for it. And then of course with the navy hijab, I'm going to start off quite similar. I'm going to put a fold on the top there. Do you see the beautiful sheen on these scarves? So gorgeous. And then this time what I'm going to do is I'm twisting one side and then putting the other side across quite loosely and then kind of, that's me just fixing the folds. But then I've let the hijab sort of cover, cover the face a little bit, cover the cheekbones. I think it just frames the face in a different way. It's a more kind of Turkish inspired kind of hijab style. Simple, pretty, it really works. Sometimes I find that the less time I spend on the hijab style, the better it ends up looking. And... I mean, you don't want to say that when you're getting late for something, but sometimes it just works out. Okay, back to my fave color. I wanted to try tying it closer to the face. It's a simple style. And again, I've got that long piece at the front there. You can just tuck that in if you wanted, or you can leave it at the back. I just thought this was a really simple, elegant style. And like I said, it will complement so many of you guys' skin tones. Another really simple hijab style with some draping along the front there. I really love keeping the hijab quite loose around the face um, just because it feels more airy and I like the feel of, or, or I don't like the feel of a very tight sort of um, hijab around my face, but of course you can tie it tighter if you guys want. And again, this is like draping over the shoulder, but not quite as much. Yay, round of applause. That's a wrap. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm uploading daily vlogs outside of these sorts of better planned videos, better filmed videos. Um, I hope that you've been enjoying them. As always, really appreciate the love that you guys have been showing us. I will catch you very soon in my next video. Take care. Doodles.